This is the third video on the expansion of Germany, 1938 to 1940. It was now clear that Hitler's next target would be Poland. Poland had been created at the end of World War I and contained territory some considered German, including the port of Danzig. Danzig had been given to Poland as an access point to the Baltic Sea and was semi-ruled by the League as a, quote, free city with both German and Polish use. Land west of Danzig was granted to Poland. This was known as the Polish Corridor. East of the Corridor and Danzig was East Prussia, which was part of Germany, divided from the rest of Germany, however. German citizens felt that this was ridiculous and wanted to unify the entire area, especially in light of the Austrian and Sudeten unification successes. After taking the Sudetenland, Germany requested to meet with Polish leaders about the possibility of building railways and roads connecting East Prussia to the rest of Germany. They also sought Danzig to be turned over to Germany officially. Poland and Germany had good relations. They had both opposed the USSR in the past, and they had actually dismantled Czechoslovakia together. British and French publics were outraged at these new demands from Hitler, believing that Germany had been quelled at the Munich Conference and that there could be no further appeasement of Germany. Britain, fearing France might make concessions on their own, signed a military treaty with France in February 1939 to prevent them from acting on their own. Poland rejected the German demands and declared that they were prepared to go to war over Danzig. Britain and France publicly announced on March 31st that they would support Poland in protecting its borders, hoping that this would force Germany to rethink its aims. To reinforce their posturing, Britain announced conscription in April of 1939 and signed a mutual anti-fascist defense pact with Greece, Romania, and Turkey. This was also in light of Mussolini's invasion of Albania. The limits of British and French support were tested, however, as they refused to send arms to Poland or loan them money to buy arms. They felt that this is something that could possibly still be resolved without war. Britain and France also reached out to the Soviet Union, hoping to gain their support in forcing Germany to back down. They felt the Soviets would appreciate being included and told them that the borders of Eastern Europe would be solidified. However, the USSR really didn't want the borders of Eastern Europe to be solidified. They had their own plans. And to further complicate matters, Poland had such a history with the Soviet Union that they refused to allow the Soviets any possibility of sending troops or arms into their territory, even if Germany invaded. Lastly, the Soviets felt slighted by the fact that only low-level diplomats were sent to negotiate with them from Britain and France. Hitler never believed Britain and France would actually go to war over Poland. He believed democracy made them weak and unable to commit for fear of losing an election. The Sudetenland had illustrated this. In April, Hitler announced plans for the German army to prepare to invade Poland and withdrew from the German-Poland non-aggression pact. 